On the table we have a little bit of a dust up going between the Lego Minecraft Nether Bastion and the Lego 90 Years of Play Forest Hideout. Ooh. Hey everyone, this is Squirrel Stampede and I am Dan. Thank you so much for watching today. So we have the Nether Bastion and I thought that the Forest Hideout would be a great set to kind of compare the two to get- Ooh. <laughs> Watch out. Um, I thought the two sets would look good together because the Nether Bastion is a little bit underperforming and then I see this forest hideout and it looks overperforming. And uh, between the two, kind of similar in a way being these menacing structures. Um, what's going on with them? Ooh, gosh guys, calm down just a little bit. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through the two sets. The Nether Bastion, of course, is the primary uh, featured set today. And then a special edition Forest Hideout, a special uh, find from LEGO this summer to highlight. I had to throw it in because it's a very interesting build. So, ooh, let's get to these fantastic sets and learn a little bit about the Nether Bastion and the Forest Hideout. Squirrel, Squirrel Stampede! stampede. Let's go with Lego Minecraft, set number 21185, The Nether Bastion, 3,000 pieces, a summer 2022 set, with minifigures, a nether adventurer, a piglin brute, and a piglin, and then a nice build of a magma cube and a strider. There's really not too much going on here nether-wise or bastion-wise, really. Kind of a good set for some minifigures and a strider, not really a good set for a bastion. Inside your box, a tiny slice of your nether bastion. Probably the rest of it got cut off a huge portion and now we're just seeing a tiny bit of it. Bag one, bag two, and bag three. Well, at least they fit three bags of pieces in that box. Also, a nice solid base plate of lava. Woohoo, that's hot. Well, let's figure this out and construct some of our nether bastion. Not too much nether-wise going on yet, just mostly bubbling lava. But we do have our Strider and Nether Adventurer sitted on top. The Strider build was kind of fun. It's a little bit smaller than I envisioned, but it's probably about right with minifigure. I like how they're using a little bit of venting on its side for those Strider-like hairs. The faceplate is pretty plain, it's just on its way for a walk in the lava. And we've got legs that move about here on a hinge and I think you can even kind of shuffle them side to side a little bit the way they've got it built in there so that's kind of a fun thing you can kind of have it positioned a little bit rocking to the left or right so pretty good little fun design there it would have been fun had we had a couple striders with this set as for the nether adventurer in netherite armor and also with a fungus of nether on a fishing pole oh there goes the strider a little bit tippy definitely will be easier to lock in onto a base plate. So a netherite helmet there on our netherite adventurer. Whoa! That is one stuck helmet and there's our figure a little bit closer. What would you say that design is on the nether adventurer's chest there? Is it a nether frog? A totem of nethering? Pretty good little minifigure though. I like the helmet there with the visor goggles. And I guess those are backpack straps? What are those on the back? This figure confuses me. But it is a nice figure, again with the netherite armor sword and the helmet that really likes to get stuck. So a couple fun builds to start our bag and to continue on with the landscape of our nether bastion.
So with bag two, we've constructed a little back end of the bastion there. Some nether wart growing up on some soul sand. Not too much still on this little base plate. Most of the features of the second bag were, I suppose that is ancient debris. Am I correct on that? What do you think? Am I missing something there? We've got two blocks of ancient debris. We've got a new flat chest with a couple pieces of Beskar armor and uh, another piece of bread or pork chop. I think we're still trying to debate, are these pork chops or bread? I think this is bread. And a couple pieces of uh, ancient debris inside. So a nice little chest find there. The highlight of bag two was our construction of a three layer Magma Cube. Now the Magma Cube that I have built prior, it's been a while. I'm trying to remember which set this one came from. One of the various past nether sets only had a one layer jump. And now we have a three layer jump. Which is a little more accurate and a little more technical on the build. You can see these two together, they almost feel very similar alike with the way the tiles are pieced. Only this one can jump up three, whereas this one only can jump up one and this one has a squirrel on its head right now. And this is pretty soothing, a fidget experience for the ages. I could do this for quite some time. 10 minutes later. In fact, I could do this for quite a long time. Another 10 minutes later. In fact, maybe I'm just padding this video because it's going to be so short because of it's such a short build. Anyhow, I could do this for a while. Let me know if I should stop. Shall I keep going? Maybe just a little more. And maybe a little more. I think I'm about to stop now. Just kidding! I'm gonna keep doing this. Oh, first squirrels, squeaks, stop. You thought I might stop soon. You were wrong. constructed we have the nether bastion. Now for being such a small scale set, I'm actually kind of liking its... ...ness. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. And constructed we have the nether bastion. Now for such a small scale build, it's actually kind of growing on me for a little scenery build. It takes up a little more space than I would first think. Huh? It takes up a little more space than I first would think. And it's kind of divided up into four different zones. We have our nether wart growing area in some soul sand on this side with a chest. We have a little bit of a warped forest area on this corner which we could use to attach to this year's set from last year. What? I'm wondering if this is some basalt delta pieces right here onto this corner. That could very well be. And then we have our nether bastion right up over on this side. Sadly though, the nether bastion is way too small. And in fact, I would love to see a nether bastion style set built like the mountain cave. Wouldn't that be just incredible to see a mountain cave sized nether bastion set? I think that would be the perfect choice for a large scale build as bastions are pretty incredible things. But we only have a small piece of one. We've got some TNT inserted into the corner there. Perhaps the nether adventurer is Steve in a skin and he's going to blow this TNT up. See what we have inside. There's a little lever back here. And we've taken up the top floor and we have found ancient debris. At least I think that's ancient debris. Also, a couple gold blocks down here. And some more. Beskar armor. So there is an abundance of extra items here to collect. I kind of like that part of this set. Over here we have some gold ore. I like how they kind of redid the TNT block a little bit for this set, I believe. Maybe they just removed the usual 
black round base, white round base, and it's fun walking the strider around in the middle of this lava field. And you can even place on this little blue flame here for extra fun. So even though it's small, it's kind of a fun build, and it is a good set to pick up some of these additional minifigures. So here we have our generic piglin with a crossbow, removing crossbow, and you can see golden pants. We've opened a few piglins before now in the past nether sets, so it's nice to slowly build up a little bit of a piglin group. Then we have the piglin brute. The piglin brute's pretty fun to look at. Has a little bit of a scar going down that right eye, left eye, golden axe, and being more brutey than ever. There's the back. Not too much on that guy's back. The brute and the nether adventurer are the key figures of this set along with the strider back there. So yeah, overall, not the largest build, but it's got some character in here with various minifigures and a little bit of a bastion piece. I guess you can imagine this enormous bastion area right over there. And if you collect other past nether sets, and I believe this set, the Twisted Warped Forest, is still readily available, you can kind of merge them together in a way. I guess we can have to place this Warped Forest tile together. That would make the most sense. And you can continue on with your nether scene. So now let's check out that other set today, the one that for some reason I feel like goes along with this set really well. The exclusive Castle System Forest Hideout. This set was a special promotional set offered by LEGO 90 Years of Play last month, I believe June, July 2022. Spend a few bucks over at the LEGO store, LEGO website, and this item came free. And I jumped on the chance as this was a theme build that I very much wanted to jump on the day but never really was able to. Plus, it's a forest hideout. The squirrels had to see it. On the back of the box, such great detail for such a smallly built set. It makes you think, hey Nether Bastion, maybe it could have been built more like this. A small little tower to place a minifigure in, just like a Bastion, but with less trees. Inside the box, the Forest Hideout Instruction Booklet Portrait Style 90 Years of Play, 90 Years of Building. Bag 1, and a small companion. Bag 2, with a small companion. So let's discover if this Forest Hideout will be taller than the Bastion. And constructed the forest hideout. Pretty impressive how much larger this is with a smaller piece count than the nether bastion. It may be in a more overworld forest biome but it clearly shows what you can do with heightening versus the stumpy nether bastion back there. Whereas they used much pieces to build up the front entrance and not really focus on the bastion back here, here we've got a forest hideout that is almost three times the height of the bastion, maybe with some tree branches helping out of course, but also with the opening and closing ability makes it look much larger than it really is. So here it is closed up, we've got our tree and our fortress up top and our hideout, and then by hinging it open, all of a sudden we have an even more larger surface area set taking up space. So I'm glad to show these two sets together to kind of go, well, what could have been with the Nether Bastion? Yes, it's a very interesting character set piece with a lot of great items, but there's not really much of a Bastion back there. It's more of a displayable pad where this forest hideout is this towering tree, which can include just as many playable items as the Nether Bastion. 
So right now we have our inner views onto the inside of the treehouse forest hideout. We have a ladder system up to a nice little treehouse event with a little barrel full of gold. A few different spots to place your minifigures inside, two minifigures included. We've got an assortment of tree branches shooting up into the sky, really giving this hideout some foliage and some greenery. Not something you would see typically in the nether, although maybe next to the warped forest. We've got a nice little roof blue canopy over here that you can lift up and look inside your treehouse as well. Nice little deer shields to dress and give character. Also another wart down below. And again, I love the hinge system, shrinking this down into just a tree, just a forest hideout. Would you even know there is a forest hideout in there? Small little door entryway there behind the flowers and tree. And a surface area that takes up less space but goes up three times tall. A couple minifigures included, we have Guy with arrow, Robin Hood alike, and we have a lady here with a sword. Also some target practice for either one of them. So I totally thought these two sets were perfect to share together today, kind of what happens when you go flat, what happens when you go vertical tall. Perhaps we could have seen a bastion look taller if built in this style. Of course it wouldn't have been exactly scaled to a bastion, a bastion is an enormous castle-like structure, but this kind of gives you this miniaturized version of one. Pretty interesting to look at the two together today. That is, if they could stop fighting each other. What do you think about the Nether Bastion? A little bit too small? Could have been a little better? I think so. It's, it's kind of like one of those structures I find so overpowering when you get to the Nether and you find a Bastion. It's like, wow! And then when you see it in Lego form, you're like, wow. Anyhow, if you liked today's video, please give us a like, a squike, a squirrelibe, and a squamant. What's a like? Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.